Very good news out of Arizona. Arizona Republican Governor Jan Brewer has vetoed the anti-gay SB 1062 bill that's been the center of a lot of controversy. This is one of these bills that is falling under the loose umbrella of a religious freedom bill, which, of course, once the bill is drafted, proponents say has nothing at all to do with anti gay motivations. However, this is patently false. So let's get that out of the way first. Then I'll tell you more about Jan Brewer. Uh, proponents of the bill say, oh, no, this has nothing to do at all with denying services to gay people or gay couples or, or anti gay discrimination. However, if we go back to the initial conception of the bill, specifically in the conversation from proponents of the bill at the at the at the very beginning was the story from New Mexico where a gay couple actually sued over being denied service. So anybody who is telling you that this SB 1062 Arizona bill never had anything to do with denying anything to, to gay couples is lying because we knew from the start that a, a specific case from New Mexico was the reason there. So so let's get that out of the way. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, why did Jan Brewer publicly say she was vetoing the bill? Well, she said in a nationally televised address from Phoenix that the bill was worded too broadly and could result in unintended and negative consequences for the state. She also said that it didn't address a specific or pressing concern and that it has the potential to create more problems than it purports to solve. I agree 100 percent. This is this is the libertarian fiscally conservative thing. When that judge in Virginia said, listen, the ban on gay marriages serves no government purpose or interest, so we shouldn't have it. That is a simple explanation of libertarian conservative philosophy. If the law doesn't do anything positive, then there is no reason to restrict people's behavior. And that's essentially what Jan Brewer is saying. We would get nothing out of passing this bill. And she's 100 percent right. But do we think that she actually believes that or no, that of course, a not. bunch <laughs> of legal advisors probably came up to her and said, this is going to be a disaster. I don't even think it's that. I think that if you look at what happened in the kind of interim period where it wasn't clear if the bill would be vetoed by Governor Brewer, there were so many companies like Apple, American Airlines, Marriott, Delta Airlines, even the Arizona Super Bowl committee, who is in charge of the 2015 Super Bowl, which is slated to be in Arizona, all came out against the bill. And the Super Bowl committee actually said they didn't say we would reconsider even having the Super Bowl here if Jan Brewer signs this bill. But they did say in their commitment to non-discrimination, they would have to reevaluate the effect of the bill on their decision to have the Super Bowl there. If you read between the lines, it was clear what they were saying. I think this move by Jan Brewer was not really directed by her concerns about it, maybe discriminating against gay couples. I don't think she really cares about that one way or another. I think she cares about political expediency and she does not want to lose the business of the Super Bowl and of all these other companies who who issued statements saying they were against the bill. Well, it certainly wouldn't be unusual for someone uh, like her to make a, a business decision, even though it's a, uh, you know, the right decision here. And I also want to take it a step further. Let's assume for a second, which I don't believe that the decision for Jan Brewer was not guided by the potential of losing the Super Bowl and so much other business to Arizona, nor by political expediency. It was really guided by the fact that she thought the bill might allow discrimination or other unintended consequences. Let's not praise Jan Brewer too much for saying she doesn't want blatant and open discrimination in her state because that's a pretty low bar to set for elected officials. Uh, yeah, that would be pretty sad. But, uh, you know, regardless of her motivations here, uh, I think we, we can be content with this. We It's the right decision and that we can agree with, regardless of what else we disagree with. Just so you know, other states considering similar bills to the one that Jan Brewer vetoed in Arizona, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Kansas, Maine, 
Mississippi, Missouri, Oklahoma, Ohio, Oregon, South Dakota, and Tennessee, 12 other states. We've spoken specifically about a few of these, I think Idaho and Kansas. This is not a unique situation to Arizona.